To install DaVinci Resolve 19 Beta, here's what you need to do. Jump over to the Blackmagic Design website and you want to come to the support section right here. Now, since DaVinci Resolve 19 is in beta, you're not going to see it in Resolve if you check for updates. So you need to come to the website, go to the support section. You can come down to select a product family, click on DaVinci Resolve and Fusion Software. Scroll down and right here we have DaVinci Resolve 19 Public Beta 1 and we have DaVinci Resolve Studio 19 Public Beta 1. So if you have Studio, make sure you download the Studio version. If you have the free version, make sure you download the free version. I'm going to download Studio because I already have Studio and it's a free upgrade if you already own a Studio license. So remember, when you purchase Studio, you're going to get updates for life. So if you have Studio, download the Studio version. So I downloaded my DaVinci Resolve 19 Studio, but before I even start to install it, you want to back up your database in your current version of DaVinci Resolve. If you're not sure how to do it, here's a link, a little card to a video showing you how to do exactly that. Now, in general, when you upgrade all your things like maybe transitions you have or user presets or other packs and things you may have downloaded and put into DaVinci Resolve, things you might have purchased along the way. In general, I find that all of that stuff is always transferred over into the new version once you upgrade. So all that should still be there. Make sure maybe you've got a backup copy of it somewhere just in case you need it, but everything should be fine. Usually it works out pretty good. And another note, you do not have to uninstall your current version of Resolve. You don't have to do that. Resolve will just replace your current version with the new beta. So in my downloads folder, I have DaVinci Resolve Studio right here. I'm going to go ahead and double click it. My Mac is going to go ahead and unzip it and open it up for me. So on my Mac here, I've got my DMG file. On a PC, you'll probably have something like an EXE file or something. Just go ahead and double click that. That'll bring up this window for you. Now we're just going to go ahead and double click Install Resolve 19 Beta. Then when we do that, we're going to get the message about installing DaVinci Resolve, give you a little info. We're going to continue in the readme here. It's going to tell you everything that gets updated. And because I make lots of videos for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and save this, but you don't have to, if you don't want to click continue license, continue. I agree. And you should too. Installation type in general, you're going to just leave this where it finds it and where it wants to put it. That's what I do. And it works fine. Every time I'm going to go ahead and hit install. The installer is going to go ahead and install DaVinci Resolve 19 beta for you. And then we should be good to go. And my installation was successful. I'm going to go ahead and hit close. So now I'm just going to go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve again. And we should be in version 19 beta. Now, when you first open up 19 beta, you're going to get this little screen here. It's going to tell you a little bit about some of the really big new features that got added here. A lot of great stuff. You can take a look at that and just go ahead and click continue. Great. You are ready to start. Click start to launch DaVinci Resolve with your existing settings. So it should be just the way you saw it right before you upgraded in your previous version. So go ahead and click start. A few things you will notice. It'll open with the project manager here. It does say public beta at the top. My database is right here. I don't have to reload it up or anything. So now I can just pick a project, open it up and see how it looks. So there we go. It looks like Resolve loaded up with no problems. One thing that was nice, it didn't have to upgrade the entire database, which sometimes it does between versions. But in this case, it didn't have to upgrade it. And if you want to double check, if you're in studio here, if you actually have the beta version installed, other than it did say beta there. But if you just click on an audio track here and then we click on the audio section at the top of our inspector, right? Inspector. We can see we have the new tools here, Dialogue Separator, Music Remixer, and the Ducker, all which I'll have videos about out real soon. There you have it. DaVinci Resolve 19 Beta is installed on your machine. You're good to go. Get out there, try out some of them new features, see how you like it, and uh, let me know what you think of those new features because they are awesome, and I'm excited to dig into them. All right, with that said, I'm going to play with Resolve 19 here, make some videos for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.